What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmiles World. Today we're going to be talking about the heavyweights. A lot of you guys are going crazy about Montez Sweat. Yo, bro, g -Mai, he raw as hell. What's the deal? I'm going to tell you right now, with the way that the gameplay is right now, you're not really guaranteed anything from the players. So what that, mean is, uh, you know, what that means is you can put anybody out there and it'll randomly, you know, not work or it'll sometimes work. So is he a good card? Based on his numbers, yes, he is. I just want to point out that in the challenges, you can get a fantasy pack that gives you any of the current week's wildcard Wednesday, whether it's flashback, heavyweights, whatever they put out. You get a fantasy pack that gives you the power-up for free. So do not spend coins on power-ups. It really drives me crazy when my viewers are like, yo, Jimai, I just bought his power-up. I'm like, why? Why the hell did you buy it? Because I put the video out, but low-key, a lot of you guys going to be watching the videos, bruh. And then you want to run up on me in the stream like, yo, Jimai, I watch everything. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stop lying. Yo, stop lying, bro. But it don't really matter, though. You know I still got love for you guys. So it is what it is. Why am I in the 4-3? The... They give you random defenses to play? Dude, I don't want to play these Ds. All right, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you want, bro. You get what EA is giving you. So just so you guys know, this is just something else to make you rage a little bit. I haven't run 3-4 in forever, bro. Like, seriously. I don't know what this is. He's just going to throw a dot. We're going to make him fumble, though. We're going to make him fumble, though. We're going to pick that up. Pick the ball up! Dude, he kicked it around. Dog, I'm, uh, listen, man. I, I got to be totally honest with you about this game. Like, it, it, it's going to cause maximum rage, and it's probably not healthy for you guys to play it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it, it, you don't, like, dude, this game is out of control. It is out of control, bro. Like, why in the hell did he just kick the ball to himself? Okay, pick it off. Thank you. Now, now it's over. All right, cool. Drop down on the ground. I don't even want, bro, drop down and get your eagle on. Like, But anyway, like I said, going through the challenges, you got to do it at your own risk. Like, let's just say it like that. But they do seem pretty simple. So I just wanted to, you know, show you guys. I'm going to run through all of them, but there's really no need for me to run through all of them right now. Because I think for the most part, you guys are here to find out, you know, statistically, what is the better player? Is it the move right now to go with Montez? So I just want to always give you guys some insight. I play these challenges just like I recommend that you do. All right, because I think it's a huge part of just understanding the game. And truth be told, I learned a lot of my blitzes by just labbing in the challenges, whether it's all pro, pro, you know, competitive, arcade, whatever it is. Because what happens is this, right? The way the game is, you can tell if a blitz is gonna screen if the computer just throws the ball away randomly. You know what I'm saying? Like if the computer just does that, you know, for no reason at all and just randomly, you know, throws the ball like, you know, really, really stupidly, it, it's gonna mean that the pressure is gonna get there fast against a human opponent and they're probably gonna have to slide protect or they're going to have to use a delay fade. So those are some of the things that you really have to understand as you take a look and you go into it. Now, many of us have Von Miller and Demarcus Ware because I've been talking to you guys in the chat and a lot of you guys went for those guys because they're probably the best that is available right now. Um, you know, going forward, obviously they're gonna be better players, but right now we're gonna pretty much take a look at the heavyweights and we're gonna try to figure out together, all right, the other linemen, if you guys are running a Titans theme team, you're probably like, a, you know, just straight savage with your old line right now because I believe Spain, um, Conklin, and um, who's the other guy? Saffo, they all were Titans at some point. You know, this guy's obviously a Titan now, but it's like all Titan guys, right? So you could probably rock out. Now, when you look at Montez, Montez numbers are way up there. People are going crazy and buying him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the most expensive one because maybe they won't, uh, somebody won't purchase this right now. Um, obviously, because he's a power up, he gets powered up to a 90. So when you look at these numbers, right, I want you guys to understand a few things. The finesse move, that's great. The power move, very, very low. You guys know how I feel about the power move in the game. There aren't a lot of attributes that really make a lot of sense, but the power move is something that you guys should watch. I also want to make sure before you guys spend that you understand he's going to be at 88 speed when you power him up, right? At 90, he should unlock, you know, edge threat and all that other stuff because he'll be a 90, uh, similar to the way that Von Miller is. He's 6'6", so he's bigger than Von and he's heavier. So does that is that going to result in better things? I don't know. I can't guarantee that, but the weight has been a factor in the game thus far. But they will be tuning the game. Will they change it up? It's something that we're going to have to wait to see how it works out. Now look, let's take a look at what Von Miller does for us, right? Because obviously, let me just show you DeMarcus Ware real quick. DeMarcus Ware is off limits because he's already at 87 speed and he gets a decent power move and he has good finesse. If you get rid of him, also he's faster. He's faster than Von Miller. 
So you gotta keep that in mind as well. And remember, with the strategy cards, you really can't boost them unless you specifically look for you know, those strategy cards that add to that. So now we look at it and you go to a eight, you know, he's at 83 speed. So obviously Montez Sweat being faster is gonna really catch your eye. It's like, yo, g -Mile, what are we doing? And I gotta be totally honest with you, with the way that the game is right now, it would probably benefit you for more speed on the outside. But just remember, if you're playing these players without abilities, it's gonna net the same result. What that means is a lot of you guys are running around with all acrobats because you're seeing other people do it and it's like, yo, bro, acrobats everywhere. But you don't really understand. If you get somebody that's a psycho and wants to run the ball every play, you're not gonna be able to stop it. So having a couple abilities on your D-line is actually a very smart move. What they unlock based on their type is two different things. So the power rusher, right? The power rusher is gonna unlock El Toro for two if you guys are into that sort of thing. Remember, the speed rushers are three. So there's certain things you gotta understand. Now look, this gives me flexibility, but I only run the edge threat and whatever else you know I feel like running. The El Toro doesn't really do as much for me as it does for some of you other guys that run the 3-3-5 wide or whatever, because honestly, if you read what it says it's supposed to do with the dominant bull rush wins, you don't always have max pass rush points. But we believe in our brains that it actually helps them to shed. When they do shed, it's a nightmare though. But I just go and I bank on edge threat because at least I know I'm getting, something's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, they're gonna light up, something's gonna go wild and it's gonna get crazy and grisly. Like, I know that. So that's why I rely on edge threat. Now, say you have Von Miller and you wanna upgrade and you're ready to do that, you don't care about the uh, you know the power rusher archetype, you're not running El Toro, so you're not concerned, you can go and check the prices and see if it makes sense. Also, you know, I'm a level 22 right now, but I got power up passes, so I believe that Mon one of Montez's cards, um, what the uniform stadiums, where the hell is, uh, wh wh where the hell do they put our uh, collectibles at? Don't they usually have the, um, the collectibles just there. I think we have one that's probably part of the newest though. So we can find it relatively easy, right? The pop right here. So we have a 62 to 81, which means we won't have to worry about the 80 overall Montez sweat. So we can kind of put that power up pass in there and work it out like that. But if you guys are interested in doing that, that's what you guys come here for. It's like, all right, what's the best route? I love the speed aspect, but if for whatever reason they tune the game and El Toro is now something that's like crazy, we're gonna be screwed because now we have to go back to Vaughn. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. The power rushes are very ideal in that situation. Now you can see his power up is very cheap. One of the reasons obviously is because, you know, uh, the Montez Sweat is out. Everybody knows that people are trying to switch stuff up. Now also remember Montez Sweat, um, let me go, let's, let's, let me go over here real quick. Hold on, before we do that, I just wanna show you because you gotta also remember a few things. He's listed as an end. So if we get rid of Von Miller, that could be also a pro like he I believe he's a right end or something, right? So let's go and um, let's go and just make sure because he's not a he doesn't he's not a linebacker, so they have him at end. So yeah, he's a left end. So realistically, just hear me out. You would have to get rid of I would have to get rid of probably Strahan. Let me explain to you why. If I take away that 90 at linebacker and I rage sell Von Miller, right? I'm screwed. Is it like realistically there's nothing I can do about it. And just keep that in mind. Make sure you understand that. It's very important that you understand that. I can't get rid of anything right now because I'm just barely at an 87 and I'm trying to get those wins for Cam Chancellor. You gotta get 100 wins. Obviously you just go repeat a solo uh, that, that it's like whatever for 100 times to get it done. I'm not really worried about it that way. I'm taking my time. But I would have to get rid of Michael Strahan. Let me just explain something to you, right? You. You could possibly just rage sell Aaron Donald though. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, Aaron, like bro, does Aaron Donald really do stuff for us? Maybe in my D that I'm running right now, probably, but we don't really have the space. We don't have the space for this, bro. Like Michael Strahan's a monster, but do I, I want the speed and then I don't need Von Miller. So now I'm kind of screwed because if I get rid of Von to get Montez Sweat, I'm gonna lose my overall. So what I would have to do, this is what I would have to do, right? Before I even make a move, I would have to probably actually get those wins for Cam Chancellor with the 87 overall or greater. And then I could just feel free getting rid of, uh, you know, Von Miller and putting anybody there because it doesn't matter. But let me just show you guys where we are with that so you guys have an idea. Um, when we go to Ultimate Champion, 
you could always check, you know, update where you are. So here goes right here. Where is it? We got the stars aspect. Win solo battles head to head. Um, increase your overall right here. So we're at nine percent. So we got a lot. We got we got a lot to do. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of you guys don't pay attention to this, and then you end up getting screwed. And you're like, "Yo, Gmail, what's up?" Because you don't look at the numbers. You gotta make sure that you get all of this stuff done. It is extremely important. Get these wins, whether by you know repeating a solo, or whatever. Maybe it take you two days. Do it 50 times, whatever. Get this done, so that way you're good to go. And then we can probably go and actually add Montez Sweat uh, to the lineup. That's just a recommendation. You, as always, you guys can do whatever you please. But based on the speed aspect and the differences and how much faster Montez Sweat is, I can see how he can be good enough for your team. Obviously, the other players, the D tackle, you know, whatever, you know, he, he's he's whatever he is. But the, all the linemen are part of the Tennessee Titans. So whether or not you want to rock them is fine, but they look like they're savage beasts. And they look like they're just ready to go. If you're going to go Titan theme team, like they're they going to be just pancaking dudes all the way down the field. And with Derrick Henry, GG's in the chat. So... I would definitely look at a way to try to, in, you know, you know, infiltrate him into your squad. But right now, based on the way my defense is, I'm not going to bother with it until I'm at that level to add him in without worrying about the overall. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Let me know what you decide. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.